Hey everybody, it's Nathan Seelove, and I'd like to use this video as an opportunity to ask for help from my YouTube audience. As many of you probably already know, one of the topic areas that I'm really interested in is autistics and empathy. The reason I'm interested in this is because autism is often characterized as demonstrating a lack of empathy or impairments in empathy. And I've always wanted to spend more time researching that more in depth through my own research project to try to understand is that really the case or is it a bit more complicated than that? So in that realm, currently I'm working on a research project that will include interviewing people on the autism spectrum. And I will be interviewing people basically on uh, how they feel empathy towards neurotypicals, how they feel empathy towards other autistics and how they express that. And I'd like to ask my YouTube audience for help with that. If you fit the parameters that I need for the study, uh, I invite you to shoot me a message to maybe help out and get involved with this. Now, let me uh, uh, go over just a few things about it. First off, I would like to say that this does have IRB approval. For those of you that don't know what IRB is, it's basically a committee that makes sure that we are uh, carrying out ethical on experiments and research studies and all of that in an academic environment. So we do have IRB approval. Uh, second off, we have a few parameters for the study. First off, you do need to be 18 years or older. And also you do need to be on the autism spectrum. And you also need to have a diagnosis for that. Now, I have said many times that I do view self-diagnosis as being a legitimate thing. Um, but unfortunately, the parameters of this particular study will dictate that I need to have people that do have official diagnoses. Um, and uh, yeah, those are the two main parameters. So if you fit those parameters and you're interested in participating in this study, then I would love to have you. Now, uh, you will not, uh, in the ultimate study, we are hoping to publish it. Uh, we will use... Uh, anonymous names for people. You can choose which name you want to be, uh, you want to you, us to use to represent you in the actual study. If you don't want us to use your real name, that's, that's totally fine. You can be anonymous. Um, there will be informed consent forms to sign if you are interested. So uh, if you do want to participate in this, uh, I will link my Facebook down below in the description. Uh, follow that link and then shoot me a message and uh, I will you know, make sure that you do fulfill the parameters. And then I'll go ahead and give you my contact information and the contact information for the other academic that's going to be carrying out the study. Now, uh, the way that this is going to work is we're going to be sitting down and basically doing qualitative interviews with you. So you might be interviewed by me or you might be interviewed by the other person who's going to be carrying out the study. So if you are interested in this, I would really appreciate your help. Um, and I really hope that we can get a lot of voices uh, within to uh, help inform the academic community. So that's today's video. Thank you all for watching. If you like autism and advocacy, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Uh, and I will see you next week.